Hey YouTube, it's Zoe, or Red by Zoe, and I am back from my month-long hiatus. Some of you might not have noticed that I was gone for about the past month, but I was gone for about the past month because I had to finish up my freshman year of college. We had a lot of things to do. Well, I had a lot of things to do with all of my classes. I had to write an 11-page paper. I had like four exams I had to study for, so I just had to take a break. And also, I forgot my camera at home. So that is another reason why I couldn't film because I didn't have my camera. But now I am back home from college and I have my camera, obviously, and I am ready to read and ready to make videos. All the stress is gone, so I am ready to be part of booktube again and that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to do my currently readings video. I am reading Can You Keep a Secret by Sophie Kinsella. This is one of her novels, one of her standalone novels, and it is so funny so far. I've only read it for about an hour this morning. I started it this morning. I'm already on page 77, the start of chapter 6. So funny! I'm so happy I picked this book up. A lot of you recommended this book to me, and thank you so much. I'm having a blast reading it. I love Sophie Kinsella, but I've only read the Shopaholic series. I've read the first five in the Shopaholic series, and I really like it, but I wanted a change of pace. I wanted to step into one of the other characters' lives. This woman, her name is Emma Corrigan, and she has a lot of secrets, and she told them to a man next to her in a plane when she thought she was going to die, and then that man turns out to be her very high up boss, the person, the creator, the CEO, the some the founder, that's the word, the founder of her company, and then things happen. I don't know what things happen because I got to the point where she realized that was her boss. So I don't know what's gonna happen, but I am very excited to find out. I finished a book last night. I finished it at about 3 a.m. and my eyes are still swollen because I was crying from about midnight to 3 a.m. and then I fell asleep and then I woke up and I could barely see because my eyes are so swollen. Obviously it's kind of gone down, but they're still a little swollen. I finished Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson. Morgan Matson is definitely one of my favorite authors right now. I have loved every single book that she's written, which since you've been gone, Amy and Rogers Epic Detour, and now Second Chance Summer. I don't know if this is my favorite of the three, but I definitely really, really liked it. I gave it five out of five stars. I needed a book that was happy after I finished this because I did not want to cry immediately after. I was crying in this book, so that's why I picked up Can You Keep a Secret? And since I'm going to finish this book tonight, I'm not actually sure what I'm going to read next, but I think I want to start a classic. I'm not actually sure which classic to read, though. I have about four or five on my bookshelf, but maybe you can help me decide. I will just hold them up for you, and then you can comment down below what you think I should read. I really don't know. I just am in the mood for a classic. Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte and Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. 1984 by George Orwell. Mansfield Park, Persuasion, and Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. So if you would just help me decide what to read next, I would really appreciate that. So thank you all for watching. If you want to be even more up to date with what I'm reading, you can follow me on Goodreads. So that is all, and I will talk to you all later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!